Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool twisted pumpkin earrings. The supplies that you're going to need are orange clay, brown or green clay, piping tool, tools, some extra orange clay that's on a lighter shade, a chain, some round cutout, a jewelry kit, some piping bags, your liquid polymer clay, some mini pliers and cutters for jewelry, and a container. First we're going to start by kneading the orange clay. After kneading, roll it into two balls of equal size. Use your fingertips and gently massage the top to make an indent. Then use your toothpick to add all the grooves on the sides. Do them evenly, like an X first. Make sure you go all the way down to the bottom of the pumpkin. Continue doing this, going inside the X and creating extras. The X first, this is going to ensure that they both look exactly the same. Since these are a set, you're going to want them almost identical or as identical as you can get them. You're going to repeat the process for the next one. This one I did speed up just because you're doing exactly the same and nobody wants to sit and watch me do this for an hour. Then go ahead and pick it up and continue pressing in a little bit further down below and making sure that each one match. This part is important, do not bake first. Go ahead and grab your soft pastels. You're going to need orange, yellow, green, and burnt umber. Start by mixing a little bit of orange, green, burnt umber, do not add the yellow. This is gonna be the low lights that go inside the grooves of the pumpkin. This helps create dimension and realism. I've had quite a few people ask me how realism differs from cartooning or anything like that. It honestly has to do with your shading and your coloring. So some people you'll see will make a little bit more cartoon, some people will make more realistic. I stick more to the realism. I do know how to do cartooning and make things look a little more animated or kawaii, but I actually prefer to do realism. I think everybody has their own preference and their own skill level. It does take a little bit more time to learn realism. Um, I do have some background in painting and sketching in realism, so that's one of the reasons that I do stick with this with the clay. Make sure when you're doing the grooves that you also shade around the grooves. Don't just do a direct line inside. Make sure that you're blending it out. Take your liquid polymer clay, add about a half of a teaspoon inside a small container, and then set it aside. Grab either your brown or green clay, and you're going to start mixing it into the liquid polymer clay. Then you're going to take your piping bag and start filling it up. Make sure that you put the tip in it beforehand. You can either use green or brown. I'm showing you how to make it with the brown since I've already previously made the green and it's resting in the freezer. After you make it, you're going to want to put it in the freezer for about one to two minutes. If you don't do this, then it becomes really runny and it's really hard to extrude and get it to go evenly. Then take two small balls of clay, roll them up, and you're going to make two small teardrop shapes. Put them on the tips of your fingers and push down. Use the back of your X-Acto knife and push in on each side. Starting at the top, you're going to cut V-shapes and continue to go down. Make sure you do this on both leaves. Use your pointer finger and your thumb and squeeze the tip and pull down and curve it. That'll make the tip of your leaf. You're going to add some liquid polymer clay and attach it to your pumpkin. Then roll out two small snake-like vines of equal size and twist them together. Then you're going to take this vine and cut it in half and to make two identical sides. Then you're going to apply the vine wherever you like it. You do not have to copy my design, you can do your own design. Make sure that both earrings are absolutely identical. This process took me a little over 40 minutes just to make sure that I had them exactly in the same place. 
top part of the earring, this will show you a little bit more how to make the leaf. Get two teardrop shapes on your fingers and push them down. It'll make a little bit like a heart shape. Use the back part of your knife and cut down the middle. Add the grooves going back and forth just like you did before going all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna pinch the tip and curve them the opposite direction. Have your oven bake clay adhesive and place it on the back and put it on an earring post. Then do it on both of them and then bake them. Make sure that you poke them with a needle before you bake them. Go ahead and pop them in the freezer for a few seconds. This will help to make sure they're stiff enough so the needle won't warp your clay when you put it through. Now you're going to use a piping bag and the tip and make the stem. Make sure you do this similar on both of the pumpkins. You are going to shape this later after freezing for 15 minutes. The pumpkins are freezing, let's go ahead and make the posts. Put a hole in the side of the earring, and then you're going to place your post inside with a little bit of oven baked clay adhesive. And then you're gonna bake it. Do the same thing with the other one again. And then bake that one. Now that the pumpkin has been freezing, you can go ahead and shape the tip however you want it. I did kind of like a Nightmare Before Christmas hilltop. Make sure you don't forget to add your pen. This is important. Do it before baking. Then you're going to attach all the pieces together. Then go ahead and repeat the process for the other earring. And that's all. Thank you so much for staying with me today. Bye!